guy's loud. This is what happens when Neil tries to build a computer. Oh, let's get Neil building a computer. Mm. All right, it's, it's 48 degrees. Neil's riding. I'm in a sling for one more week. We're doing lap times. I'll get a couple clips of him, like as he rides by or whatever. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm all packed up, ready to go. So I'm not on the GoPro because the GoPro is packed in my bag. We're going home back to Palo Alto. I have a PT appointment tomorrow. <sighs> you want to take lap times? Okay. <laughs> uh, Nico. Stop, stop. Easy. Hey, stop. Sit, sit. Sit. Come here, Nico. I just got mauled by a dog. Oops. All right, so update. I think maybe like a week ago, I did that mirror thing. And now I'm, I'm pretty, you know, we're doing it. We can kind of do this and we're, we're jiving. Uh, been running, running stupid. It's really hard. I don't like it. Um, I'm getting better at it in the sense that it doesn't hurt as much. Uh, but, and I can go for longer, but I can't go faster. I'm like stuck at nine minutes. I just can do longer nine minutes without it hurting as much. Um, Neil's actually riding my bike right now. So th this video is actually gonna be that, but I uh, just wanted to provide a little check-in. Like mobility is coming back. I feel pretty good. There's like almost no pain. And uh, I don't know, sometimes I forget. I'm like, you know, had a serious injury just three months ago, two and a half months ago. Muscles still obviously nowhere to be found. Um, that'll come back. My right arm, the good arm is like emaciated. So I'm, I'm just like a skeleton. I weigh like 184. Pre-injury, I was like 196. So, um, you know, a little bit of that is dieting. A lot of that is muscle loss or like lean tissue. So muscle, water, glycogen, uh, stop taking creatine. So probably a couple pounds there. Um, but really excited to, to get back to riding in like a month. Um, and then obviously my bike is back. Um, really long story. Essentially the ECU was just trash on that bike. Like, like the one they gave me just was like a faulty. Um, so I thought it was, I took it to the dealer. They gave me some run around. Maybe it'll be covered, maybe not. Cause I had the bike for like, like six weeks and the warranty ran out at four. But, um, my dad called again and I think they sort of realized like, this is just clearly not my fault. Like it was just a bad ECU. Um, so they were able to work with Yamaha on getting that replaced. First they did the fuel pump. Then the mapping switch wasn't even working, which is hilarious. And then eventually it was the ECU the whole time. So, um, that took two months and luckily I was injured the entire time, so I didn't really feel it, but, um, you know, Neil's breaking it in right now. Um, so now without further ado, here's Neil riding Carnegie, uh, on my bike. Ooh. All right. So I'm here at Club Moto. I was trying to go to Carnegie today, but they're at capacity. Um, and she said it. It takes like typically like two hours for them to not be at capacity during that time of day or whatever. Um, so I went to Club Moto. Instead, I'm on Jack's bike because my bike's having uh, has a brake 
the brake pedal bolts are stripped. Whoops. Um, so Jack got his bike back, but he's hurt, so.
goes where it wants to go. But it's definitely getting used to it. You have to like kind of plan out what you're gonna do a little more. But then you can like exit any corner no matter what entry speed you have to be fine. So that's like the other thing. That was the most work I've given to my uh, forearms in a while. There's, I don't know why, but I'm maybe I'm trying too hard trying to ride it like a two-stroke, but I'm definitely getting some arm pump. Luckily, it's not too hot, so you can kind of like survive that. Oh, we got plenty of battery. Moto two. Hopefully, this goes a little better than Moto one, where. Throttle hand kind of locked up with arm pump. I even got a blister on it, so I'm probably grabbing on too tight. But I did the whole moto, and that's the goal for this moto. I'm gonna get the whole moto done. Um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Overall, I think in some places this bike is really easy to ride. Um, but I, one of the things I'm struggling with a little bit is just. Uh, suspension is it's really stable but but it's kind of stiff and I can't really feel the ground underneath me so I like a lot of corners I'm just like coming in way too hot and like not kind of realizing where I need to hit the brakes so the key to this photo is just